In today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and enable the high score. And to do that, we're going to have to go ahead and start learning about Players Prefs. Now, Players Prefs really is just a file that gets saved on your computer. Every Unity project can create one. And let's take a look at how to use it. So I'm going to create two functions. Uh, they're both going to be private. There's no need to have them public. Nothing outside of this class is going to need it. I'm just going to call it load high score. And another one to save the high score. And we could make one more to update the, the high score, which we will, but let's go ahead and look at the player prefs part first. So to load a high score, all we say is player prefs dot get. And there's three different types we can get here. We can get an int, a string, or a float. In the case of the high score, we're going to get an int. And if we take a look here, we have two different methods. We have one where we can load it up by a key. So we're going to be loading and saving this up on a key value pair. But if we look at the second one, we can assign a default value as well. This is the one I'm going to use for my load high score. So to start off with, we need some key. Now the key is just going to be a reference to what we call, think of it as a variable name. So in this case, it's got to be a string. I'm just going to call it high score. Then I'm going to give it a default value of zero. So what this does is it goes ahead and looks into this file. It looks for a field called high score, or at least the key. And if it finds the high score, it's going to load the value that's associated up with it into whatever it is that we assign this to. If we take note here, it does return an int. But if it goes ahead and it looks for this high score key and it can't find it, it's just going to return a zero for us. So let's close this off and actually save it somewhere. And of course, high score seems to be a perfect spot to store since that's where we want it. So a quick reiteration, we're going to go ahead in this load high score. We're going to say high score is equal to, then we're going to go into that player press file. We're going to get an integer. This integer is going to be set to the key of high score. And if we don't find it, we'll return a zero. If we do find it, we're just going to return the value that we have. Great. So let's go ahead and take a look at saving it. So player press dot set int. And if we take a look at this, there's only one method that we can use. One is the string key, and then the other is the actual value. So for the key, we're going to use high score. Make sure you have it spelt the exact same as we do up here. You can go ahead and set a constant up top if you're really worried about it. Since I'm only going to be using it twice, I'm not too worried about it. Actually, quick double check, make sure I did spell it right. All right, and the value we want to save is high score. Great. We're off to a good start. So let's go ahead and write the update for the display. We really should rename this update score display. There we go. We notice it updates everywhere for us. We're going to create another one called void update high score display. And it's going to work the same. So we're going to go up here, create another serialized field for the text, except instead of being score, it's going to be high score. On awake, uh, I'm actually going to assign this one actually. To be honest, I'm going to go ahead and move the score script out to uh, a panel. Well, let's just throw it on our canvas. And I'm going to go ahead and make them drag and drop. So we can get rid of wake all together for now. So in start, I'm going to go ahead, call set, which just sets the high score. Or so, sorry, it sets the score back to zero. I also want to load the high score. And I just realized save high score. We need a way to check whether or not that we have a new high score. And if we do, we want to save it. So at the end of a game. So we'll get to that in just a second here. We'll go ahead and fix this one here. Which, of course, we can just copy pasta from here. Uh, I guess we could have actually just written it. It probably would have been less keystrokes. So the update is done. Now we need a way to check the score for when the end of the game ha has happened. Now I'm going to go ahead and just make a new method for that and create a public. I'll call it check for new high score. And of course, we do need a return type in there. And all I'm going to do is say is if score is greater than high score, then go ahead and save high score. And anytime we save the high score, this is when we'll call the update for the high score. 
There's a couple ways we could have did this part, but I just want to create one public method. There we go, it's done. So let's go into our game manager and we'll come down to the game reset. And right here is where we're going to go ahead and check to see if we have a new high score. So let's put it in. Score.check for new high score. And I'm going to move. Oh, stop that. Ah, uh, it's going to do that. That's okay. There we go. Bit of spacing there. All right. So reset game now. Uh, we debug log out the resetting. We're going to check to see if we have a new high score, which of course comes over to the score method. And you know, if we do have a new high score, go ahead, save it. That's going to go after the player prefs and save it and then update the display. And there's one more thing we got to do here. When we go to update the display, we still have to set the high score to equal the score. And to be honest, this probably isn't the best spot to do it. And it should have been above that. The best spot to do it would probably be right here. So we're going to say high score is equal to score. And then we'll save that high score. Another thing is we could just pass the variable in. I just want to keep it like this. Uh, so then we're going to come back here. So everything should be working now. Make sure we got no errors popping up. And let's go ahead and take that score script. I'm going to move it off. And I'm going to throw it on the game UI now. And then for the score, I'm going to drag it in. I'm actually just going to duplicate the score. I'm going to call it high score. Select the game UI again, so I have access to the score script and drag the high score into there. Let's go ahead, hit play, and we'll check this out. Oh, we gotta change the position first. And let me quickly check high score here. Uh, all the fonts and everything else to say. I'm gonna change the color just a bit. Uh, let's make it uh, a yellow. Looks good. And I want it over here, so we can go ahead, just click on this. Hold Shift, Hold Alt, throw it over here. And then we're also going to have to, if we take a look here, right align it. And then move it off the side by 10, just like we did with the first one. And it looks like we moved it down 10 as well. All right. So let's try starting this back up. Oh, we got a, an error here. Ah. Our game manager, since we moved the score, we have to go ahead and reassign it. There we go. And I don't think we actually have this being set to zero, do we? No. So we want to hurry up and get that set to zero too. And the easiest way to do that would just be to come into score, update the display when it loads. So the game first starts. If it can't find a value, which it shouldn't, it should come out to zero. There we go. So blue, there we go. Blue, yellow. Blue, yellow, blue, there we go. We'll go ahead and we'll get this one wrong. There we go, so the game reset. We're back to zero, we have a high score of three. Uh, what did we get here? Uh, a one, should let that open, which is red. And I've just crashed my display here again. Unity really does not like this layout. There we go. Well, we don't need to see the console right now anyway. So we'll go ahead and just do it this way. So I, I did want to point out that when we stop the game and we start it back up, it goes ahead and loads up that high score now. And we got red or green, sorry. Green, blue. Green, blue, yellow. Green, blue, red, red. <laughs> so we got to four. If we get it wrong now, we should get a new high score. Everything is working as intended. So the next video, let's go ahead and get that game menu up that we click to start the game. And when the game ends, instead of having it automatically restart, that menu pops back up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You'd be a pretty chatty guy over there. 
when I'm not walking through a forest or being stalked by eagles and falcons, lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>